When getting started with building performance analysis, one of the first steps is often to create a conceptual model of your building design in the Revit application or format. This conceptual model can easily be converted into an energy model, which can be analyzed in Insight, as well as to explore design strategies and alternatives for improving the building performance. Let's get started by creating an in-place mess. Open a new Revit project. Go to the Massing and Site tab and open the In-Place Model tool. Enter a name for your mass. Sketch a simple closed profile on Level 1. Select the Profile Sketch and click the Create Form tool. Select the top surface of the created form and drag it to about 45 feet tall. Click Finish Mass. If the building form has already been modeled as a conceptual mass family, you can open that family and use it. Next, let's divide the conceptual mass into mass floors using the floor levels. Open any elevation view. And change the elevation of level 2 to 15 feet to match the desired floor height. Go to the Architecture tab and click the Level tool. Drag to create an additional level above level 2. Repeat this step to create three levels with a spacing of about 15 feet between each level. You can quickly create multiple levels in several ways. In the Level tool, you can choose the Pick Lines creation method and use an offset of 15 feet. You can also select an existing level, then use the Copy or Array tools to create multiple copies. Open the default 3D view and select the Mass. Go to the Modify Mass tab and click Mass Floors. Select all of the levels, then click OK. Now that we have a basic mass model, let's set the project location. Go to the Analysis tab and open the Location tool. Choose to define location by Internet Mapping Service. Enter an address, then click Search. If multiple locations match your search, you may need to select one from the pop-up menu that appears. Also, if a list of weather stations appears, select the closest one or the one with the most similar conditions to your project location. Next, let's set the energy settings for conceptual energy analysis. Go to the Analyze tab and open Energy Settings. In the Energy Analytical Model section, select the applicable mode. If your model only includes conceptual masses, choose Use Conceptual Masses. If your model also includes some building elements in addition to conceptual masses, use Conceptual Masses and Building Elements. Selecting the Conceptual Masses and Building Elements mode also adds several useful views to your project, a 3D energy model view and schedule views showing the analytical spaces and analytical surfaces in your energy model. Next, we'll select the building type in the Advanced Other Options section. Click the Edit button in the Other Options setting. In the Building Data section, choose the building type for this model that matches your assumptions about the building usage and operating schedule.
Click OK twice to apply these settings. Next, we'll create the energy model from our mass model. Go to the Analyze tab and click Create Energy Model. If prompted, confirm that you want to create the energy analytical model. The Create Energy Model button toggles between Create Energy Model and Delete Energy Model. If you want to change any energy settings after an energy model has been created, delete the current energy model, then create a new one. Finally, let's generate insight for this model. Sign in to your A360 account. Save a local copy of your project before uploading it for analysis. Go to the Analyze tab and click Generate. If the energy model has not already been created, accept the prompt to create it now. If the energy model already exists, choose whether to use the existing model or generate a new one at this time.